Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this now is exponential equation solution from here. From what we have here, this follows. What we have a raised to power m minus n, which is the same thing as a raised to power m over a raised to power n. At this here, we have 8 raised to power x over 8 squared equals to 100 from here. That is, we can write this as 8 raised to the power hex over a square 8 times 8 as 64, then equals to, you can write this as 100 over 1. The next step here, we cross multiply, that is, 8 raised to the power x times 1, same thing as 8 raised to the power hex, then equals to, here we have 100 times 64. Then, next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log 8 raised to the power x equals to log 100 times 64. That is, from here we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, this is the same thing as p log m. That is, here we have x log 8 equals to log 100 times 64. The next step here, this also follows. Now we have log a times b, which we can rewrite as log a plus log b. That is, here this becomes x log 8 equals to log 100 plus log 64. The next step, divide both side by log 8. That is, divide this side by log 8. Also, divide this side by log 8. That is, here, log 8 cancelled each other. This becomes x equals to, here, we separate this into two fractions. We have log 100 over log 8 plus log 64 over log 8. Then, next step here, also we can express 64 as 8 times 8, that's 8 squared. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 100 over log 8 plus log 8 squared over log 8. Then we apply the power of logarithm here to come z. And here we have x equals to log 100 over log 8 plus 2 log 8 over log 8. That is here, log 8 cancel each other. And here this becomes x equals to log 100 over log 8 plus 2. Then also, next step here, we can write 100 as 4 times 25. Then here this becomes x equals to log 4 times 25 over log 8 plus Two. That is, this also follows the law of logarithm, and we can write as x equals to log four plus log twenty-five over log eight plus two. Then we also separate this into two fractions, and we have x equals to log four over log eight plus log 25 over log 8 plus 2. That is, from here, 4 can be expressed as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. 8 also can be written as 2 times 2 times 2, that's 2 cube. And 25 can be written as 5 times 5, that's 5 squared. That is, here, yeah, all we have becomes x equals 2 log 
2 squared over log 2 cube plus log 5 squared over log 2 cube plus 2. That is, next step here we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here, 3 comes here, 2 comes here, and also 3 comes here. And we have x equals to 2 log 2 over 3 log 2 plus 2 log 5 over 3 log 2 plus 2. That is here we have log 2 cancel each other and this becomes x equals 2. I can write 2 first and we say 2 plus 2 over 3 then plus. Also here we have 2 over 3 times log 5 over log 2. That is here we have x equals to 2 plus 2 over 3. I can write that as 8 over 3 then plus. Here we have 2 over 3 log 5 over log 2. Then also apply change of this here when we have log a over log b, which is same thing as log a to base b. Then here we have x equals to 8 over 3 plus 2 over 3 log 5 base 2. Then Next step here, we bring this together as one fraction. That is, we have x equals to the SCM here as 3. And here, we still have 8, then plus 2 log 5 base 2. That is, the value of x here we have. x equals to 8 plus 2 log 5 base 2 over 3. Then, let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute. The value of x here, which is x equals to 8 plus 2 log 5 base 2 all over 3. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 8 plus 2 log 5 base 2 over 3 minus 2. Is it equals to 100 on this side? Then from here, we bring this power together as one fraction. But this is 2 over 1, and we have 8 raised to power. SCM here that's 3. Here we have 8 plus 2 log 5 base 2 minus 6 here. Is it equals to 100 on this side? That is, here yeah, we have 8 minus 2. 8 minus 6, that's 2. All right, that's 8 raised to the power 2 plus 2 log 5 is 2 over 3. Is it equals to 100 on this side? Then also, here yeah, we can express 8 as 2 raised to the power 3, which is raised to the power 2 plus 2 log 5 is 2 over 3 is it equals to 100 on this side and this here this power multiplies 3 here cancel each other plus 2 raised to the power 2 plus 2 log 5 base 2 is it equals to 100 on this side then here we apply the law of indices and we can separate this as 2 square times 2 raised to power 2 log 5 is 2. Is it equals to 100 from here? Then here, 2 square. That's same thing as 4. Then times, here we reverse this 2 from power log. We have 2 raised to power log 5 square base 2. Is it equals to 100 from here? Then this becomes 4 times 2 raised to the power log 5 squared as 25 is 2. This is equals to 100 on this side. And this follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a. This is equals to b. 
Uh, is here we have 4 times 25. Is it equals to 100 on this side? And 4 times 25, that's 100. Equals to 100 from here. Left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 8 plus 2 log 5 raised to all over 3 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.